Hello nurses, this is Kevin with nursingcamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. Today's focus is going to be on this sticky note, dobutamine, from my cardiac ABCs. And this is an acute med. It's one of the D's, dobutamine, uh, part of the A meds. Okay, let's get into it. Dobutamine, what is it? Well, it's an inotropic medication, inotropic. And inotropic, um, I know the force. You Star Wars fans. I know tropic means a forceful contraction. It works on beta because we talked about in a previous lecture beta 1 and beta 2. Beta 2 lungs and beta 1 heart. Well, the interesting thing about dobutamine, which I call dobetamine, it beats the heart. Mainly all beta 1. Don't confuse dobutamine with uh, dopamine, where dopamine is not only beta, it's also alpha. So dobutamine is strictly beta. It's given for cardiogenic shock. It's a shock med. Generally given through a triple lumen and never giving peripherally. And the main reason you don't give it peripherally is because uh, infiltration. And if this, car if this medication infiltrates, they will lose their arm. And rule number two is don't give medications that will cause patients to lose arms. Just kidding. So we monitor the site for infiltration. And it's also given for septic shock. So not only cardiogenic shock, where cardiogenic, um, there's a problem with the heart. And it's not pumping. And we need it to pump. So we give dobutamine to pump the heart. And with septic shock, we treat the underlying cause first, like fluid. We fill them up. And then we gently will pump the heart. But more importantly, it's mainly cardiogenic shock. Uh, we'll hold it uh, for potassium low. And the reason is potassium is responsible for a lot of conduction. And if it's low, we correct it first before we give dobutamine. Also, we assess fluid status. So usually if you're given dobutamine, you're going to have hemodynamics. You have a CVP, a cardiac output. You'll have a PAWP. And you might know what the ejection fraction is. Okay, now ejection fraction, you'll have a finding from an echo. And we always want that greater than 60%. Because if it's less than 60%, they'll have shortness of breath or cardiogenic symptoms. Uh, CVP is normally 4 to 8. See my other lecture on that. Um, but greater than means there's too much fluid on board. And less than means there's not enough. Cardiac output is 4 to 8. And I say that I normally will write cardiac output like this first, and I'll put like this 8 there. So I have the 8, and then half of that is 4. There's my cardiac output. Well, with dobutamine, we are going to uh, assume that the cardiac output is less than 4, and that's why they need it. They need to increase their cardiac output. PAWP, okay, add these together, you have 12, 8 to 12. Less than is not enough fluid, and greater than is too much fluid. And if it's cardiogenic shock, they're going to have too much fluid on board. Is it going to be symptomatic because of decreased cardiac output? Why? Because the ejection fraction in the heart isn't working. And so the heart needs to pump, and so we put them on uh, dobutamine to do that. They'll also be on a monitor. We're going to monitor their blood pressure for the mean arterial pressure. And that mean arterial pressure needs to be greater than 60 to 65. And the reason we monitor mean arterial pressure is because that's about perfusion. So we talk about three dentists, diastolic times two plus systolic divided by three it gives you your mean arterial pressure. And we talked about previously that a brain requires 70 to 75. That's why level of consciousness is always acute. Okay, what else? Um, 
Always correct the underlying cause. Why do they need dobutamine? Dobutamine isn't a first line drug. It's mainly for given for CHF and problems with broken um, uh, uh, patients with a low ejection fraction. Whether it's um, hy uh, hypertrophy or uh, cardiomyopathy. Um, so what's some other things we need to know about this? Uh, one is what happens if it does get infiltrated? Well, they need like regetin. Regetin is the antidote. And um, you basically put it, needles around the infiltration to stop it from sloughing tissue and causing a problem. That's why triple lumen is most appro appropriate for this me delivery method. Also, some, some questions is, you question if they have a sulfite allergy. So in the, in the end, let's go through our A-whales, A-W-H-A-L-E-S, which is a way that I look at medications. Is it acute? It's an acute med. How does it work? It works on the beta one, which is the heart, and it pumps the heart and it increases cardiac output. When do we hold this medication? Uh, well, low K. If they're dehydrated, we need to correct that volume first. If they have VTAC, there's something wrong with the rhythm. You don't want to irritate that rhythm if it's moving too fast. Um, what's the assessment? Well, do they have a triple lumen? What's their fluid status? What's their electrolytes? And um, what's the hemodynamics, CVP, wedge pressure? Any labs? Well, some history about do they have a sulfite sensitivity? Other labs, potassium. Any eating? Well, this patient who's receiving dobutamine, unless they're in a CHF clinic, um, they're usually vented or and acute. And what stands out? Well, dobutamine is a beta-1 specific medication, so it works only on the heart, and it can be confused very easily with um, dopamine, which will be covered in my next lecture. And the big key with this is beta-1, when you only have a problem with the heart, like in cardiogenic shock, that's what you'll use dobutamine for. It's inotropic which means it increases the force of contraction. Well, that about wraps it up. My name's Camp, um, Nursing Camp. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Etsy, Nursing Camp, or on nursingcamp.com. You can download this um, study sheet from nursingcamp.com or social media. That's it, nurses. I will see you next time. Now nurse on.